If you remember in the past video, we were dealing with the skeleton creature. There's actually a unique opportunity here. I wanted to, uh, for a while, show you how to animate something. Once you have bones rigged onto a model, and in this case we have bone or an armature, let's call it an armature. Unfortunately, this is a skeleton creature, so it might cause some confusion if we call it bones. Um, it's also referred to as bones, so we'll call it armature. When an armature is parented to the model, such as in this case, here's my model, the skeleton creature. Okay, you can go into object mode. That's the object. Here's the armature, also called the bones. They look like bones, don't they? I think so. So that's why they're called that. And um, it's parented to this model. And each one of these bones represents a section of the model. And it owns that section. You can actually, this bone here can own the skull if you wanted. It could own all the way down here on, on the uh, right. Well, it would be the skeleton's right uh, foot if you wanted, and that's done through these vertex groups. But typically, where the bone is at is where um, that piece part of the model should um, it should manipulate that part of the model. So that's what this is all about. And when you're able to do that, you can record those movements and make an animation file. So that's what we're going to do. We have a problem here. So let me show you what that is with the skeleton creature. If, if you've watched the... Wow, what's going on here? Some AI is having some issues with collision. That's okay. We'll ignore that. I have other creatures loaded in automatically. Here's our uh, skeleton creature. Okay. He has his... The Yulianj I have... Um, what's this thing here? have a crown and you can choose several different types of crowns at the beginning when you're creating a character and it's kind of like a deer with its uh, a buck I guess is what they call it with its uh, um, uh, antlers that's what they have so their skull is gonna have that but what we're concentrating on is that he the skeleton creature as he's moving is being very rude. It's actually kind of embarrassing. This is a screw up with the vertex groups. Is it the vertex groups? I fixed a lot of the vertex groups. There was a lot of uh, uh, fragmentation that uh, you've seen in the other videos, but this one is a little unique. I don't know why he keeps on insisting on that. I'm going to show you this character in the model previewer. Okay, here he is. And here's all the animations on the side that I have loaded. These animations are originally for the player character, assuming you chose a Yulanji as opposed to the Kaith character. So we'll go through these and we'll play each one of these animations. The root, that's a problem. It's strange that its arms come down, right? We'll go back to that. Running, look at its arm similar to the issue that we're encountering. He's a little bit more um, out in the open of what he's doing. It's uh, very embarrassing what he's doing, so <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what he's doing. But he uh, seems to uh, not have control over himself, so we'll have to fix that. But this is, seems to be, uh, when these animations are running, they will cross-interpret between each other. So you have the resting pose, the root animation, and he's already doing something wrong. His shoulder should be up here, and now you have the run, and something's going on where it's interpreting this information over here. It would be on his left side incorrectly. Here's some more animations flying. That's when you're falling. Oh, where am I? That's when Skelly is falling. Oops. Oh. Gotta put my mouse over this window. No, I can't really get in front of them, can I? Oh, well, I do. if I hold down shift, I can do that. Okay. 
fly to let's get out of fly laying down I like watching that one let's get out of laying down it's actually supposed to reverse this and so I have to figure out why he's not reverse reversing the animation as opposed to just immediately upright like that this animation is supposed to be reversed lay three because that's a weird version of it but anyway um I think the problem lies in his root animation so we're going to go ahead and remake a root animation which is pretty easy and at the same time I'll show you how to make an animation whether it works or not I don't know most likely it won't I think I'm going to have to um, well if I don't figure out what it is I'm gonna to have to make fresh animations for each one of these but in the meantime let's get out of this and go ahead and make him a root animation so here in the races you'll see all these animations here you have the root animation fly animation a b and c all kinds of animations actually I plugged in a lot of the animations in here actually I think these are the real animations so the player animation Yulangi root let's go ahead and look them up every time you want to add an animation you have to do this and this guy you go into the right mode here this is the animation bar down here let's bring him back to frame 0 frame 0 is right there and the end point is 153 frames starts at 0 so we gotta put him in the right mode I think object mode is fine Okay. first of all let's go and hide the armature that's confusing things so if we do that and let's take it out of texture mode textures don't look so good in blender because uh, the blend, actually the textures can look far superior to torque in blender it just takes some time because blender is also used to make movies so the textures in blender can actually be far superior to what is possible in torque torque is is to create a nice text or um, shader or texture and produce shaders upon it in a very quick manner um, blender you can render an image and spend literally an entire day to create but uh, blender you can do the same thing but instead of doing that I have torque take care of the textures and I just need to show you what's going on here without the textures we'll just we'll take the textures off they look very bland in blender and we'll go ahead and see what this looks like so I'm gonna go from the side and notice the root animation is just breathing back and forth like that okay. that's all it is you just want to give the illusion of breathing so it's called the Elangi root so we're gonna to go to our skelly friend here and we have not had to make a specific animation for him until now so we're going to save, save as, underscore, root, actually lowercase, and that's it. Now we can mess with this. If we screw up, it's not a big deal. And I have to figure out what... I don't need this one anymore right now. What um, bones were messed with here? I don't know if I can figure that out or not. Oh yeah, I can. I'm going to oh shoot, uh, that's not very nice. Where is it? Well, let's bring back our bones. All time. Maybe that's its whiny problem. Dope sheet. There we go. These yellow markers tell us who's being messed with. So the chest was messed with. The right hand, really? I don't know why the right hand would have been messed with. 
breathe hole, which is back here. We don't have that for the skeleton creature, so we don't need that. Not sure about the right hand. Really all I care about is the chest. Right? So let's go back. Which one of you are chest? That's that one right there. I'm going to span this out to 153 and make it exactly the same amount of time. Okay. 153 is an awfully weird number. I don't know what happened there. Put it at zero. And hit in to get this field out if it's not already out. And let's go up here. All right. Now when we select this bone, make sure we're on the side here. I think that's going to be the best bet. I don't remember what degrees we alter it back and forth, but at 153. Let me see something. How many times is he breathing through this animation? One. Back. Okay. It stops at 40. So it goes back up to 40 frames. Goes back at 70 in the middle. 100 frames. Let's see, it goes completely back. And maybe come back. It's really odd, actually. Very odd. It's not typically how an animation is supposed to be. I just have to do it my way right away. So let's do 40. Right, so we go to this one. Shows how it started at 4. Bizarre. And we will hit the I key over the head. Oops. Actually, you want to go into select the armature. Close mode. Good. I'll hit I over rotation. That starts the animation at zero. Go over to 40 in this particular case. We're going to rotate it probably. In this corner here, in the bottom left corner, before, well, right next to where it says armature chest, it's a negative 7.41. I'm going to do negative 8.0. Zero. Zero. Okay? We've got to remember that, and then we're going to hit I. And we'll go up to 70. And we rotate 8, which is the opposite. And rotate 2. It's a little bit more down. And This last part, we're going to go into a different mode, go to the dope sheet, click on this part, shift D, bring it all the way down to 153. Who knows why it's 153? It's really weird. I would I have no idea why I would decide on 153 originally for the other model, but there you go, 153. Doesn't make sense, but that's what we are. Let's see if he's doing a subtle animation. Good. Now, what I'm hoping for is that the placement of these collarbones will not be so distorted. Okay. I'm going to save, file, bring this to zero. It's my best practice. File, export, Kalana. 
Monsters. We don't have that one yet. Ulangi Skeleton Root Export. Alright, so, and now we need to tell the .cs file that has his animations that information. So we go game art shapes. There we go, monster. There we go. And ulangi.cs. And since it's in this folder, I think we can just do a dot slash. Pretty sure that's all you have to do. So now it's linked to this root folder because we're in this folder should find, there it is, Ulangi root. Okay, now, let me get my command here. I don't feel like typing this, so, <laughs> so let me go in and uh, see what this does. It's so bizarre. He just takes his left arm and puts it in such a bizarre location. I have all ways to interpret that animation. He does that. That's really stupid. Well, I'm amazed that he actually is able to do any of the animations because they were not initially designed for this character. Well, first of all, I have to go over the fact that Skelly was fixed because I put his shoulders or collar bones where they should have been on the armature. And now it corresponded with all of the animations of the original Ulangi structure. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Probably should have had this open before I uh, started the video. As you notice, this one's collarbone or collar portion for the uh, vertex groups is at a slope. I made uh, skellies originally straight. But, um, so I basically I went in, select a bone here, to uh, maybe it's edit mode. Okay. And copied all of these individual parameters for each one of these bones. And copied it over to this guy. And that made them at the proper angle and now the animations work well. So let me go ahead and show you that in the game world. See is a lot better. Bone structures are in place. And actually looks pretty darn cool. Now what I want to do is give Skelly a new animation. I kind of want the ability, I actually did some of this animation to a certain point. What you have to do is you go into pose mode, you select the armature, okay? Well actually the first thing you do is you save this file under a different name, which in this case will be the Ulangi Skeleton underscore Bones, okay? And I'll show you why, well, basically every animation file will require a separate file to load in. And um, each one of these bones that you're going to move for the animation, you need to go to. No, that's not the right one. Timeline. Okay. Make sure that this start point is at zero and that you're on zero. It's either left or right. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and start this. Okay. And. 
hold on a second. Each bone that is going to participate in the animation, you're going to select it. You're going to go up here to its location rotation, and you're going to hover, hover over location and press I. Rotation, press I. And you do that for each individual bone that's going to participate. And I'm going to be doing that throughout this process. What I want is a pile of bones, essentially. And I want them to combine together to form the skeleton creature. That's what I would like to actually accomplish. So we'll see if that's possible. Also, I had to go in to edit mode. And I'm probably going to do this to several bones. But I unselected connected, which is on the far right here, once I selected the bone. So that way, I'm going to go into pose mode and grab it. The skeleton, or the bone actually, can separate from the armature. Like that. Okay. So, I've already done a lot of these bones and we got up to this point. Well, I have noticed that this backbone is not does not have uh, or is not assigned to a vertex group. Somehow it was okay in the game world with the current animations, but as I'm making this new animation, it becomes quite apparent that is not acceptable. Okay. And I'm not sure what that is. So, okay, so let's go a little actually this armature is in the way, it makes it hard to determine what's going on. <coughs> Leave. Select the item first. Edit moon. And that'd be probably add abdomen. Pelvis and chest. Let's see what that one has. Okay, so now I know this one is the culprit, and we're going to assign him to the chest area. Look like a brow piece. Like this piece here. I'm pretty sure this is it. And this is not needed. We're going to delete that out. Okay. I'll save. No. Cancel. Now, same thing. I need to do the same thing for the original. Let's, let's just consider it monster. Basis. Okay. And just sit down. Okay. 
back. Okay, it's this one. Oh. So, uh, save. Uh, export. There we go. It's done. Now, we can continue with the animation, I believe. Good. So we're going to hover over. I brought it to halfway at 10 seconds, or 10 milliseconds. I'm going to hit pi over its rotation. Now it's a child of the main bone here, the pelvis. That's why it does not have location highlighted, because the pelvis takes care of the location. Okay. Went to frame zero and inserted a frame for this part for the ab abdomen. And let's make him really distorted. He's just messed up beyond belief. And insert the keyframe. And now that we disconnected the skull, I'm hoping we can do some cool thing. Oh, first of all, you have to select the head. Which looks like we already did that, so that's fine. And then so we're gonna do this. At the very end. Actually, let's go let's go ten seconds out. Let's have the head roll into place first. So. Imagine this coming to life in front of you. Okay, so you come up to a random pile of bones. You're walking along. The hope is that you're walking along, you see this in proper lighting and everything, so it doesn't look so you won't see these, um, the armature or anything. In fact, let's go ahead and hide that. And um, just see the bones. Hide that. walking along, you come up to this thing of bones and all of a sudden you hear this reforming sound, however we plan on doing that, and, oops, all of a sudden you see the head roll into place, and then it starts to rise up, bam, and it wants to attack you, so that's the whole idea there, and so, and save that. So weird. Okay, so go back to that. Make sure everything's there and go ahead and export it. 
where the monster is at. It's going to be a specific animation for the monster. I'm going to export that. And we got we we have to go in and mess with that script. So let's go ahead and copy one of these lines. And we're gonna call the animation bones. Is that lowercase bones? Is it with the S, yeah, okay. Okay. This one is incorrect. It's going to be found. Oops. I'm going to find this in this particular folder. So. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Now, we named this animation bones, we brought it in. We want to set it to be non cyclic. So, which means that it's not going to repeat over and over again. We just want it to play once. And actually, this is probably going to be backwards, but that's okay. I just want to demonstrate this. There it is, there's the animation of bones. It's actually pretty freaking cool. It looks a lot better than what it looks like in Blender. No, I didn't set up any of the shaders in Blender, and that's why. There's nothing wrong with Blender. It's just that I'd rather not waste my time setting up shaders for a part of the process that it's not relevant. I guess if you were showing it off, it would be relevant, but um, other than that, oh yeah. A little too fast, but we can fix that. That's what I want. Okay, so he's laying on the ground, you come up, and there's going to be a trigger that tells it to unanimate, ready to attack you. But it needs to do this a lot slower, maybe at 50 frames. So let's go ahead and do that. So, if you see this mess where the armature looks like it's separated from the model, just um, hover over the animation section, left and right click, and you get it back to normal. Blender just sometimes does that, so. But let's go into a certain mode here, the dope sheet, and we're going to right click and select all of the animation to move down, make sure everything's selected, which will be highlighted as yellow. And I'm going to move it out. What is this at? 10 seconds. I'm going to give it another 20 seconds. So a G for grab. Grab it. Move it to 20, 30, sec 30 seconds. Which is an additional 20 seconds for that section. I'm going to find the end animation. Which are these guys. And I'm going to give this one uh, 60 seconds, and this one around uh, 90. Yeah. So it'd be a lot slower now. Yeah, that's what we want. Save, file, export, Lotta. Monsters, export. Now within. This you can actually set specific, set it for a specific part of the animation, such as unblocking starts at frame 11, ends at frame 0. It's going backwards. Or you could put a negative 1, started at frame 0, negative 1, which means whatever it is. So I don't have to mess with anything because that's what I set this bone, these bone, this bone's animation at as a negative 1. So that the system knows that whatever frames it has just end it at the ending frame, which is nice. Because after you export an animation, the frames that are in Blender don't exactly match up with the frames that Torque 
um, blends it as, because Torque does its own algorithm just as any other engine does as well, in order to have animation blending um, in order for it to make, to make it effective at all, to be honest. You have to, you have to set certain animations of having more uh, importance than others, such as walking is one of the most important animations. Super. Select them. And let's see how long Bones takes now. A little bit better. Might actually work. Now he comes back. Alright, you might have noticed that he shrinks. Well, you have to bake the animation. I'll show you how to do that in later episodes, but currently these animations are placer animations until I decide that they are finalized, and then I'll bake the animation, and then it will be perfect. There will be no shrinkage of the characters. There we go.